Hey everyone, Miss Gibbs here. Today we are going to be doing our leaf rubbing since we're talking about texture. And I thought no better way to do that than to do fall leaf rubbings. So this is something you could do at home with real leaves, but here in the classroom today, we're going to be using these leaf rubbing plates. If you feel them, they have a raised texture and they feel bumpy when you run your finger over them, but the sides of them feel smooth. So to do our leaf rubbings, we are going to use our cut piece of copy paper, just regular copy paper, because this is thinner than the drawing paper that we use. We're going to be using our leaf rubbing plates and we're going to be using crayons. You notice something about these crayons? Yeah, they're broken. Remember I told you broken crayons still color. They also don't have their paper on them which is going to come in handy today. So to do our leaf rubbing, we need to make sure that we have a flat surface. I'm going to put the leaf underneath my paper here. I'm going to hold it down. I think for the first one, I'm going to use, um, how about red? Holding it down, I'm going to put the flat side of the crayon on the paper. Then I'm going to rub, press down, go side to side. Oh, see that? All right, there's my first leaf. That one came out nice. Now, I could use the same template, maybe go off to the side so it's sticking out the side of my paper. And I could take a different color. Maybe this time I'll use orange. I'm going to press down, holding down the paper and holding down the plate underneath it as well. There we go. Maybe for the next one, I'm going to I'm going to use a different leaf. I'm going to use this template here. And I'm going to put this one to the side over here. If you have it sticking out that way. So it's coming right to the edge. I'm going to pick another color. This time, I think I have purple here. Let's see. Yeah, I have purple. Whoops, see what happened? It slipped a little. That's okay. There we go. I think maybe, oh, I have a little acorns it looks like down here. Let's see. Put that over there. Yeah. Maybe it come off the side of the paper there. Hmm. Maybe I should put some more orange down here. Maybe I'll switch leaves and I'll do this leaf over here. And stick it coming out the bottom of the paper. Hold down the paper and the template and then kind of pull towards you or to the side, depending on which way you're holding it. Yeah, that's kind of neat. For the next step of our fall leaf rubbing collage, we are going to need scissors and different pieces of construction paper. 
It can be scrap paper. And I chose the colors yellow, red, orange, and brown, because we're going to make a border that represents fall leaves. Maybe that just fell down from the tree. So we are going to practice cutting today with our scissors. We put our finger in the smaller hole, the thumb goes in there, and the rest of our fingers go in the scissor like that. And we open and close the scissor. Remember, we don't point our scissors at people. We just use our scissors when we are cutting. So to cut, we hold the paper in our hand like this, open the scissor, and go like that. Now for this project, we are going to want to have pieces that are small. So we're gonna cut little rectangles or squares, just like that in the different colors of paper. I'm cutting strips. So for the last part of our collage project with our leaf rubbings, we are going to need the leaf rubbings that we did the first week, the background paper that we're going to glue everything down on, and the collage pieces that we cut out, and glue. I have your glue in a container with paint brushes because you're going to paint your glue on and then place the pieces down. My glue is red so that all of you can see where I'm putting the glue easily. Your glue is white. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our piece of paper that we did our leaf rubbing on. We wanna take our glue, put our brush in the glue, get some glue on the brush, not too much. And we're just gonna put a little bit on the back of our artwork, our leaf rubbing. See how much I put? You can see it easily because I have it dyed with food coloring for you. And this, we're going to turn it over and we're going to place it in the middle of our background construction paper and rub it down flat. So it's right side up now. Now is the part where we are going to glue our pieces that we cut out down on our background. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint where I'm going to glue. I'm going to paint the glue on. Put my brush in. Make sure it's not too much. You know, I don't want it dripping off. And we're going to make a border. So to make a border, I'm actually going to put some paint right on the edge of the leaf rubbing. Notice I'm not painting across the whole paint, the whole leaf rubbing. 
That's not the point here. The point is to put glue around the edge. So we can make our collage. Okay, I have one border. Let's see. Now it's on the edge of the paper. Now I'm going to pick up the pieces that I cut out and I'm going to glue it down so it's overlapping, it's coming over the edge. I'm going to pick different colors. I'm not going to put the same colors next to each other. Maybe you might even want to do a pattern alternating. Let's see, if I was doing a pattern, I would do orange next. And then I would do yellow. Kind of overlapping here. And then a brown would come next. And then red. Back to orange. Then yellow. Then brown. Back to red. You don't have to do a pattern. That was just a last minute idea that I had, but that's something that you can do if you want to. See how I have it all covered? So I'm going to continue with that and do it down this side. Yep, one right over there. I'm just painting one side at a time so it doesn't all dry up. And I'm actually going to stop with the pattern there. Whoops, that one kind of fell right into the glue. I just want to make sure that my pieces, I'm not going to put the yellow right there, but I'm going to put the yellow right here, are overlapping. And so I'm putting different colors next to each other. Hmm. Another yellow. Oh, I think I need an orange in there. Do the next 